Hello, and welcome to DeKalb Agriculture, Technology, and Environment Charter School. My name is Ms. Schillingford, and I am the STEM coordinator who is the environmental specialist, and I am so very excited that next year, I'm also going to be the STEM integration coach for middle school. Well, currently, we're standing inside of our soil garden. And there's so many wonderful things here. The children are the ones that come out and plant all of the seeds, they cultivate the soil, they till the soil, and they always get a harvest. This here is our pollination garden. And inside of the pollination garden, we have some mint, and we have some zinnia, and we also have some sunflowers. The mint draws the insect as well as the other flowers that grow here in order to keep them from eating up our other green vegetation. But the, that same mint can also serve as a repellent in different ways. The children learn that in the classroom. Inside of all the different grow bands are different types of vegetation. You have green peppers growing here. You have tomatoes growing on this side. You also have more flowers. We also have some collard greens growing it's just awesome. And what's so awesome is that we're able to also feed people in our environment here, the stakeholders inside of the school, as well as the community. Now, also in this area, something that's really awesome that our children are learning is how to collect rainwater. There's a barrel here where we collect the rainwater and we utilize it in order to water our garden from time to time. That's sustainability at its best. It's so awesome and it's also allowing us to be economically sustainable as well by saving water. Now, as the year goes by next year, we're gonna be developing something on the top of the roof where we start collecting the rainwater in barrels so that we can save even more money and become even more sustainable. One of my very favorite parts over here though is this blueberry tree. Man, when I tell you, they're so sweet and I'm always excited to put them inside of a smoothie. Last thing I think I'll point to over here is that peach tree back there. Not too many peaches on there right now, but they're coming. Beautiful peach tree. And you know that Georgia is the peach day, but the children are learning about that as well. How do you take care of all of these different types of plants and trees inside of our soil garden? The learning is definitely in the doing. So now that I talked a little bit about the soil, give me one second, I'm gonna take you to the soil less garden. So now we're in the soil less garden. We're inside of our greenhouse where I'm sitting on the side of the aquaponics system. We have what's called a NFT for nutrient stem technique and deep water culture grow beds. Those are our aquaponics systems. What makes it soil less is because we have something called hydrogen, and the hydrogen replaces the soil. You know, soil is usually used where the plant gets its nutrients and it also makes that plant stable. Well, the hydrogen here is what keeps the plant stable. The roots at the bottom go on top of a raft. The water is coming from this tank that is full of various types of fish. Right now, we have koi, bluegill, tilapia, and chibunga, just the type of goldfish that we have. But there's something that's called the nitrogen cycle that's going on inside of this tank. And our students are learning that all the time, how they can grow vegetation in areas that maybe have a limited amount of water, or the soil is not quite as nutritious. It's a way where we can try to feed others when there's a limited amount of land and a limited amount of water. So awesome. Notice, we even have green peppers. We have some mustard greens. You know my most proudest thing in this aquaponics system that we actually have grown? Hot. Now, generally inside of an aquaponics system, you see a lot of green, like your lettuces and your spices. But because we are the cab, Agriculture, Technology, and Environment Charter School, we always go the extra mile. So our students are learning how to grow tomatoes, radish, green pepper, and we even grow some carrots in here, believe it or not. And last but 
but not least, we have our awesome STEAM bus for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. We're constantly integrating these sciences and principles into the lesson plans here at Date Academy. I love it so much. This mobile bus has changed the lives of millions of children out in the community. It goes out on Fridays. Our eighth graders are the leaders who develop their own lesson plans, and inside is a classroom. We're trying to reach out to children in the community between the ages of three to five so that they can be exposed to all of these sciences that I just got finished talking about, from the garden to the greenhouse to the farm to even a pond that we have. They all are part of STEAM. So here at Date, we're doing it, and we're doing it the best. I love this place.